I'm so pleased to present to you this uh, new CD of British Piano Concertos on Lyrita. I recorded this last year, June 2021, I think, with the amazing BBC National Orchestra of Wales and Martin Brabins. It's an interesting project, particularly in that it was born out of uh, COVID restrictions. Uh, BBC Hoddenet Hall in Cardiff had a limit as to how many people they could have in the recording studio. So although we had planned to record a much bigger concerto, we had to look around for uh, concertos with smaller orchestral forces. And actually, I was so pleasantly surprised with what we found. The disc begins with John Addison, um, probably most famous for his film music. And as you might imagine, his Wellington Suite, uh, written for Wellington College, is such a lot of fun in five movements, each of which have their very own distinct character, but it's pure entertainment. And perhaps this piece is, is just as much a concerto for the two virtuos, virtuoso horn players as it is for the piano. We then go on to Arthur Benjamin's Concertino, which has had a recording before with Lamar Krausen, uh, but it was a real pleasure to be able to make a kind of uh, modern recording. And this piece, as well as uh, focusing on the piano has an absolutely exquisite saxophone part, amazingly played by Gerard McChrystal. Um, we then move on to something very, very different, Elizabeth McConkie's Concertino of 1949, which is a piece in, in three movements, the first being quite edgy and dramatic uh, and quite dissonant in places, as, as we might expect from McConkie. Um, but moving on to a slow movement, almost a kind of nocturne-like slow movement, which is really incredibly passionate, incredibly uh, song-like and beautiful. And then a finale, which is kind of, uh, has a kind of impish humour and uh, lots of rhythmic games that we've all come to know in, in McConkie's wonderful music. Then Humphrey Searle, a short concertante, which he wrote for the Jeunesse Musicale, a six-minute piece, but which captures uh, the character of Searle and his very kind of groundbreaking, uh, again, edgy and dramatic music, before something very different, an early piece by Edmund Rubra, which he originally called Nature's uh, Call, Nature's Call, which we found to be quite a funny title. So uh, with the permission of his family, uh, this piece is, is going out under its new name, Nature's Song, uh, and we were really uh, privileged to be able to use for this recording the score that was used when Holst conducted the premiere of the piece uh, with Rubra himself at the piano. The disc finishes with Geoffrey Bush's arrangement of Thomas Arn, a four-movement, absolutely beautiful neo-baroque piece, which I think adds another element of variety to this disc, which I hope will be really enjoyable. It has something for everyone. It's um, an hour long and there are six pieces which uh, I really hope you all enjoy discovering. <laughs>